everybody. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm DJ, the Riverview Campus Pastor for Metro City Church, and so glad you're joining us. Uh, well, this is Real Talk, where we have real talk about God and culture. And I'm here with Pastor Jeremy, our lead pastor. And Pastor Jay, um, I know you watch the news a lot. You're up on everything uh, as far as current events. And so you're. this is not um, new information for you that this week, Joe Biden, our former vice Crazy president, Joe. yeah, has has made a lot of headlines yes, uh, with doing some <laughs> uh, inappropriate, I guess, uh, gestures or hugs or the funniest one, I, the smelling hair thing. I don't get it. Yeah. As a bald guy, I don't get it. Uh, but um, <laughs> uh, anyways, I, you know, I think I think this is a bigger conversation in our culture. And so uh, wh- what are your thoughts on yeah, this? About boundaries, right? Yeah. 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 So you look at, at uh, Joe Biden, you know, ex-vice president under Obama. And uh, I don't know that anything has come out like where it's been uh, accused of sexual right. improprieties, but but just flat out weird, right? Like crossing these boundaries. And uh, that leads to a bigger discussion on what is appropriate between men and women. Now, I want to remind people that we're talking th- th- that this is from a Christian yeah. worldview yeah. where people want to honor God mm-hmm. uh, w- with their lives, with mm-hmm. their marriages, if they're, if they're married, uh, and even in their singlehood. They want to mm-hmm. honor God with the way that they approach relationships yeah. with the opposite sex in, yeah. in any romantic you know, sort of a way. And, and so uh, it's true that people cross boundaries mm-hmm. all the time. Uh, I don't know anybody who wakes up and just says, hey, today I'm going to screw up my entire yeah. life. You yeah. know, yeah. I, I don't think anybody who has got a good marriage and a good home, a good family, uh, maybe a good job or maybe a church or has a Christian uh, witness in their life mm-hmm. that just simply says, hey, today I want to throw all that away mm-hmm. and just fall. Yeah. You know, so uh, it doesn't happen like that. It happens one step at a time. It, it happens when you decide to cross a line. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh Clearly, many in the Christian community have. You think of some of the great uh, Christian leaders yeah. in our culture. It is unbelievable. I, I'll tell you, some of the people that I personally mm-hmm. have been deeply influenced by mm-hmm. in recent years mm-hmm. have fallen. They yeah. have uh, shipwrecked their lives. Mm-hmm. They've ruined their homes, their yeah. marriages. They've yeah. lost their churches. Uh, this is a real deal. So let's talk about yeah. some appropriate boundaries because... Uh, Let's just start off by saying Crazy Joe sniffing ladies' hair is uh, clearly a crossing of a boundary. No, just a little out there. Yeah, yeah a little out there. So, uh, but but on a, on a on a more important and a deeper level, if we're going to maintain uh, this sort of spiritual integrity, I think it starts with something that might be a little controversial. Mm. Um, you should not maintain close friendships with the opposite sex. Ooh, that's good. You shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, who you become close to, especially if they're the opposite sex, mm-hmm. uh, you, you you can be drawn into emotional uh, relationship with them and then physical. It, mm-hmm. it really can. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there, it, there's these fine lines and you got to protect yourself. Now, this isn't to say that some of the people that uh, are the most significant to me are not women because I right. have some very significant women in my yeah. life who are not my mother, or my yeah. wife, or my yeah. daughter, you know? Um, but... You have to have these boundaries yeah. that are clear that uh, when I talk to some ladies on our staff or mm-hmm. in our church, uh, if it's about anything personal, mm-hmm. uh, I'll include their husbands on, mm-hmm. on the text or the email, you know, mm-hmm. or I'll include you on a, yeah. on a message yeah. to a female staffer Absolutely. or something like that. I think things have to be completely out in the open. Mm-hmm. And, and this has to do with the idea of, you know, deleting or if I'm in, if I'm talking to a woman, uh, you know, in my position, people come for spiritual counsel mm-hmm. or leadership all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I have to make organizational decisions. Yeah. Uh, we have this policy uh, for my wife and I, and mm-hmm. we try to infuse this into our staff where uh, you have an open uh, sort of a relationship with the opposite sex. So mm-hmm. if I meet with a woman, I don't come into a room like this and exactly. shut the door yep. ever. Right. It just yep. doesn't happen. Ever. Uh, Most every time I meet with somebody, my secretary is there or Mm -hmm. my assistant's there or or I grab another staff member to meet. Uh, Or uh, if it's not personal conversation, Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a a broader issue of life, we'll go out to the cafe and we'll sit in the open with 100 people out there where everybody can see what's going on Mm -hmm. and hear what's going on. And the person at the next table can overhear our conversation. Uh, So we just have to be very careful to yeah. make sure that it's all open that's, that's such good advice just yeah. to have those those guardrails around yeah. yeah and people go well is that because you know you're not trustworthy no 
I want to be trustworthy. Yeah, yeah. you're That's submitting the point. yourself to that. Yeah, I'm yeah. purposely trying yeah. to say, I'm trying to build confidence in our relationship. I'm tr There's yeah. nothing to hide, so why That's not so be good. completely open? And, and here's, here's the next thing I think that is um, uh, so important is that your spouse should have the right to, to bless the relationship or have the trump card in the relationship. Mm. And almost always your wife is right or your spouse <laughs> is right or your yeah. husband is, yeah. is right. I mean, yeah. they are almost always right. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's interesting. I've sat in my office where this has been the topic with a, with a couple. Like he's got a lady friend mm -hmm. and the wife is very uncomfortable with it mm -hmm. and he's defending it and it is a flat out fight. Yeah. And like, he's like, there's nothing wrong with this, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying be weird. I'm not saying you yeah, have yeah. to have blinders on. I'm not saying that you can't have lady friends. Like I said, yeah. I have significant lady friends yeah. in my life. Yep. Uh, but uh, the wife has the right or your spouse mm -hmm. has the right for a trump card. Mm -hmm. And uh, literally to say, that's off limits. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We are not going down that road. Yeah. Uh, and so let's talk about some of the positive things that you, you need to to do, I think the first one is to try to cultivate a relationship with your with your spouse, with mm -hmm. your husband, or with mm -hmm. your wife. Uh, it's important to cultivate that relationship. And I think, uh, secondly, very close to that is to cultivate good relationships with same sex mm -hmm. people. Like, mm -hmm. like you're a friend to mm -hmm. me, and yep. uh, it's important that mm -hmm. people like you and me we develop positive mm -hmm. friendships yeah. because that way I won't need as much exactly. of that attention from the opposite yeah. sex, yeah. you know? And, and I think thirdly, we, we, have to, we have to be honest with ourselves. I think we have to be mm -hmm. honest with why do we run after opposite sex uh, relationships? Mm -hmm. There is something in a man mm -hmm. that wants the affirmation of a woman. Mm -hmm. There is, and there's something in a woman mm -hmm. that wants the affirmation of a man. Mm -hmm. uh, we're supposed to get that at, our, at home, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and so yeah. I, I think the third thing is that you have to guard your heart. Yeah. And there's just a couple other quick thoughts uh, about this idea of boundaries. I, I think it's important mm -hmm. to develop uh, couple relationships. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm talking to married people, obviously, yeah. here. Uh, but this idea that Lynette and I have to have friends that are Lynette and I's friends. Yes. Does that make sense? Yep. Uh, it, and it's like for our for us, it's our life group. Mm -hmm. It's our group of friends we're trying to develop there. Mm -hmm. It has to be purposeful that we mm -hmm. connect with other friends. That way it raises the accountability and it fulfills those needs. Because listen, I have a need mm -hmm. to be friends with women too. Mm -hmm. And she has a need mm -hmm. to be friends with men too. Yep. And so to have couple friendships is critically mm -hmm important. And uh, the last thing I, I want to say is that we need to, uh, we, we've already referenced it a little bit, but the idea of guarding our interactions, making sure they're very, very clear cut. And in a culture where business is so intertwined mm -hmm. and uh, the culture just thinks you're weird for having any safeguards. Uh, vice President Pence, mm -hmm. our current vice yep. president, he was in the news a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. because he would not meet yep. with high level government officials yep. alone that's who are women. Yep. And I thought to myself, that's a man of honor, it but sure he is. got tore up in yep. our society. Yep. And I'm like, what is the problem with having somebody mm -hmm. else sit in the room? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what is the problem? Mm -hmm. It's it's usually not. Because right. if you're talking about things that Shouldn't be talked about. Right. Maybe shouldn't be talking should, about them exactly, at all. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And, and so yeah. Uh, for me, I can tell you this, like a couple of basics are I don't meet with women alone. Mm -hmm. Never, ever travel with another, mm -hmm. with a woman outside of my wife yeah. or my daughter alone. Yeah. Uh, I always bring a man. If I have to go away for any sort of business mm -hmm. or church trip at all, yeah. or like church related business, yeah. I always, without exception, yeah. travel with somebody else. And that adds expense to yeah. our church. Yeah. That adds expense to me. Yeah. Uh, but it is, but it is worth it. it. Yeah. It is absolutely worth Absolute, it. Yeah. Boundaries actually give you freedom. Mm. Boundaries actually Ooh, uh, allow Boundaries you to become you all that yeah. God wants you to become, yeah. right? That's the whole idea. Uh, it's oh. not to be weird. Uh, but it is to make it to the end and to make it well. That's that is so the good. point. Awesome. Hey, well, this has been a great conversation uh, about something that I think is really relevant to our culture. So this has been Real Talk. Uh, and join us next time as we continue to have Real Talk about God and culture.